Greetings and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome back to another insightful session with me, Dr. Lokita Maka, your online agricultural assistant. If you're new to this channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button below to stay updated on all our informative agricultural content. But remember, we're not only dealing with agricultural content, we encourage education in this platform, anything that has to do with education. So even the university students are catered for even informal education is catered for anyway um to all the returning subscribers welcome back it's always a pleasure to have you here with us so in this particular session we are looking into the fascinating world of animal production systems well have you ever wondered about the different methods of raising farm animals well one and no more. I'm here. I'm your girl. Anyway, grade 12s, this is mostly for you. I'm going to be just briefly, this is not going to take long. Um, I want us to actually explore two main production systems, intensive as well as the extensive. And how do these, um, actually, these systems utilize both large and um a small scale uh, farming. So with the large scale, it's more, it's usually commercial farming, but with the small scale, it's usually subsistence farming. So let's look into the difference between the two. So let's start by breaking down the key differences between intensive as well as extensive production systems. So intensive systems typically involve smaller areas of land and a house, um, for large number of animals however um extensive um systems actually cover large areas with animals that are spread out so you're going to see in these pictures here and also i have created a table for you that actually um looks into these particular systems and for you in terms of actually um, understanding this properly or actually keeping it in mind easily, I have divided into five um, subheadings. So the surface area, number of animals, nutrition, housing, as well as marketing. So in terms of um, intensive systems they actually cover small areas of land however with the extensive it's large and it's large areas but in terms of number of animals um, the intensive looks uh, hosts or house large number of animals um, but with extensive it can either be small or large but they will be spread over this particular area in terms of nutrition um, the animals um, in intensive uh, system, production system, they will have the food provided to them. So the farmer will bring the food to the animals. However, in the extensive systems, the animals will actually forage for themselves. But even in that system, the food can be provided, right? Then in terms of housings, so with the intensive system, the housing is usually closed and with the extensive, um, they, they can be shelters, but most of the times it's just open housings. And in terms of marketing, the intensive um, production systems, the and they supply the markets, but in most of the time with the extensive, it can be used for marketing, but it can also be used for own um, subsistence uh, farming. Right, now let's look, let's take a closer look at some examples of intensive 
production. So of some of them, they include feedlots. Now, this is where um, sheep and cattle are actually kept in, 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 in close areas of feedlots. They are most fattened. They are given food and made ready for the market. Um, we also have commercial dairies where the large scale um, milk production is done. And we also have um, broiler production, but also also even for layer production this is where now chickens um, are actually raised in a specialized poultry houses now what are the factors that actually um, increase animal production under the intensive farming now if we were to look at let's say the broiler production for example now, if we want to optimize the, the, the production in intensive farming, there are various factors that we have to look at. There are various factors that come into play. For, for instance, in broiler production, nutrition and feeding play a crucial role. Now, the birds are fed a nutrient-rich diet to ensure a rapid growth as well as readiness for the market. Additionally, proper housing uh, design and disease management are really, really, really important. Um, they are essential for maintaining the healthy livestock. Now, let's look at the examples for extensive farming production. Now, some of these examples, they actually include stud farms, beef, martin, wool, and mohair farms. So these farms are often, um, they often involve animals grazing over large areas, as we have mentioned earlier, such as cattle freely roaming in open pastures, sheep freely rolling, uh, roaming in um, open pastures, goats as well freely roaming in um, open pastures. So this is an example of extensive production system. However, there are also factors that can actually increase the extensive farming production um, system right and these factors actually need to be considered for example if we look at beef production felt proper felt management actually ensures that for both cattle as well as sheep or all the farm animals um, it ensures sufficient grazing while now you select the right breed now you will see oftentimes we see farmers going into auctions and now you find them bidding large sums of amount for a certain breed now getting a right breed and also implementing effective production as well as breeding practices are very crucial. Um, a general enterprise management, including animal health and marketing plan, also play a significant uh, role in ensuring that you maximize the production. Now, as we, as we conclude uh, my people, as we conclude tribe, I hope you have gained valuable insights into the diverse world of animal production systems. Understanding these systems and factors influencing production is very essential. And this is one of the easiest. You just need to know the, the, the differences. One is in an enclosed area, small area. The other one is in an open area. So go back to that table that I, I created for you. This make all things easier, right? Uh, also remember, whether it's either intensive or it's, it's extensive farming, proper management is key, guys. Proper management to ensure that the well-being of our animals is key. The production of our farms depend on the proper production. Anyway, 
thank you very much for joining me in this particular video if you find if you found this um session informative don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your fellow friends le uh, students colleagues everyone and as always if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover in our future sessions please feel free to leave them in the comments below until next time happy learning happy farming thank you very much love and light it's your girl dr lokita marker